Hello and welcome to Spinning. My name is Josh Taylor and this is the Peak Power Series. In this session, we're going to be focusing on 30 second all out max efforts where you're going to be hitting the big power numbers. Now, as always, safety is number one in the spinning program, and because we're gonna be going so hard, it's really important for you to be honest with yourself in these efforts. On a scale of one to 10 in that RPE, rate of perceived exertion, we are going to the nine and 10 numbers. So be very cautious with this effort. Be well rested so that you can actually get the full benefit out of it and learn all about yourself. So let's go ahead and start to get warmed up. What I'd like you to do right now is come down to the handlebars, just add a little bit of resistance. Now this is a 30 minute ride. So we're gonna be doing four 30 second peak power efforts. You will be getting three minutes recovery in between each one. So it's a one to three ratio from work to recovery, which is always good, gotta have enough recovery. If you feel like for any reason you need to skip one, that's always okay. We highly recommend the use of a heart rate monitor, which I'll explain a little bit about here in a second, your heart rate response in 30 second efforts. But we really recommend you have a power meter and an interval button function that records the summary or the averages of the interval. So with peak power, you're going to the big numbers, you're gonna to try to sustain it. And that's what's most important. Now, because the efforts are so short, your heart rate response is gonna be a lag. It's gonna be catching up. It's gonna be a response to your effort. So by the time we get done with a 30 second effort, your heart rate's still gonna be going up and you're gonna feel it in that three minute recovery. <laughs> but really what I want you to focus on is your RPE, your rate of perceived exertion. And if you got that power number, go for the big numbers, baby, all right? Let's bring that leg speed up just slightly. And as always, it's really important that your head is in the game. Without the mind, the body's not gonna follow. So I want you to prepare yourself for a challenge. Like you're going for the win in each of these 30 second efforts. You're gonna need to think during the 30 second effort. You're gonna need to pay close attention to your breathing, how it feels, to the input into the bike, the power output that you're gonna be producing is key. Timing it out, I almost like to think of a 30 second effort as three parts. The first 10, the middle 10, and the last 10 seconds. How are you gonna get through each of those? So we're gonna practice it within the first couple efforts and then really go for the big numbers in the, in the following two. All right, let's get a little more resistance on there. I'd like you to go ahead and take a drink. Hydration is always critical. We're gonna be doing two prep intervals just to kind of turn all the switches on to get the body ready for these extreme efforts. So I'd like you to just roll your legs. The first little effort we're gonna do is 90 seconds. We're not gonna be going crazy. Just gonna step it up into that RPE of four to five. It's a moderate effort. 70 to 75% of max heart rate. And I'll let you know when we get to that. But right now, just roll those legs. This might be a good time for you to practice your interval start and stop so you can see your power output. That average power over the given amount of time is so key in this. All right, let's start that first interval here in a little bit. To get ready for it, I'd like you to add a little more load and just come out of the saddle, roll those legs. That's it. Be in control. Like I said, get that mind ready. Prep interval, we're not going that hard. Right now we're just building in zone one, up to the high end of it, 50 to 65% of max heart rate. RPE, two to three. We'll use that 90 second effort to bring the heart rate up just a little bit more. All right, come down to the saddle. I'd like you to find your interval button function if you have it. Let's reach down, give me a little more resistance. First effort in three, two, one, let's go. 
just bring your cadence up. You don't gotta go too much harder. Hope you have a little load on there. Moderately hard. Maybe give me a little more load right now. A little more resistance, that's it. Be smooth, be in control. Now I've got a power meter and I'm seeing what I'm doing here. I'm watching my time. 30 seconds in. Close your eyes. Just feel moderately hard. Again, don't go too hard right now. This is not a big effort. It's a prep interval to get you ready. Coming up on 30 seconds left of this prep interval number one. Don't go any harder. 30 seconds to go. Yeah. Smooth that pedal stroke out, engage each section of the pedal stroke. My breathing's coming up. 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and hit that interval. Relax. How are we feeling? All right, you got three minutes here. We're gonna bring it down to a moderate pace. 65 to 70% of max heart rate. You got that heart rate strap on. Heart rate monitor on your arm. Whatever. RP, four to five. Maybe a little lower, three to four, somewhere in there. Not too bad. You need to stretch your legs? Just pop up. <laughs> so the next interval we're gonna do, like I said, it's 30 seconds. It is the full duration of the real efforts we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be taking the effort up to 80 to 85%. That very hard, not extremely hard or max. Again, these are prep intervals. Getting you ready, yes. <laughs> now I'm gonna be honest with you, these are no joke. <laughs> you are, if you're doing them right, 30 seconds, is gonna feel like an eternity. So in effort, you're gonna be stretching that time out because you're going so hard, each second's gonna feel a little long. <laughs> That's if you're doing it right, okay? All right, let's come down to the saddle. Maybe lighten it up a little bit, get a drink. Sit up for a second. Close your eyes, relax your shoulders. Let's get our head straight. Let's get our attitude in line. I want you to really see what you can do. Peak power efforts are so nice, because if you know what you can do for 30 seconds, or one minute, or two minutes, or five minutes, or 10 minutes, in terms of a power number, it's so important. It's just easy to remember. Be the best version of yourself throughout these intervals, all right? and take care of yourself. Let's get ready for that 30 second effort. Take a minute to just kinda get your composure. Like I said, get your thoughts straight. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of load. That first 30 seconds effort we do is gonna be really important, so let's get this one done. I'd like you to load up. Ready, set, let's go. Hit that interval button, rock and roll it out. 80 to 85%, seven to eight on that RPE scale. Very hard. Little more load, come on. You're halfway through it. 10 seconds. Give me five, four, Three, two, one, ease up. Let's lighten that load. 
Lighten that load. All right, listen to me. You are three minutes out from the real ones. Four of them. 30 seconds on, three minutes off. 30 seconds on, three minutes off. 30 seconds on. All right, and we're pretty much finished with it. Four of those. Nice and easy right here. Let's go down into zone one. 50 to 65% of max. This first one we do. Gonna push that effort way up. We're gonna be using really heavy load. If you'd like, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a, some freedom on the bike. You could take it all out of the saddle with heavy load, or you could take it partly out of the saddle and sit back down. Or if you feel you want to, try it all down, up to you. But really the ultimate goal here is to see what you can do to be the best, put out the highest amount of power for 30 seconds. Interval button is gonna be really important here because that's gonna give you your average power over that given time, so important. Heart rate, doesn't matter. It's gonna catch you up after. <laughs> so you're going. Max effort, big power, all right? That's the measurement. All right, let's go ahead and start taking those deep breaths. Keep your legs rolling. I would hydrate, cheers. If you're like me and you started sweating already, go ahead and wipe off. Make sure your bars are dry so you have something good to hang on to. Best you can be, 30 seconds. I got your back, you just follow that power number. See if you can maintain it. Now I'm gonna give you a little trick here. Like I said, break it up into three segments. First 10, second 10, last 10 segments. Seconds in that segment, all right? First 10, just get it going. Then start to really lay into it. It's gonna happen quickly, but if you're going hard, it's gonna feel long. <laughs> yeah. All right. First one, remember that interval button? Start to load. Start to load, make it heavy. Heavy on my mark. Ready, set, go. Come on, look at your number. Put the power out. There's the first 10. Come on, go. Come on, last 10. Three, two, one. Shut it down. Ooh. How'd you do? To use the interval, what's that average? Now you've got a baseline, something to work towards, same or better. My heart rate is now catching up. <laughs> Can always talk to you. Full recovery, 50 to 65%, extremely easy right now. These are heavily anaerobic, neuromuscular. So as you probably noticed, if you were watching me, which you probably weren't, because you were looking at your numbers. Towards the end, I was struggling to maintain it because I was doing it right. So how can you be better in this next one? Think about it right now. Did I start too hard? Right? Did I not have good form? Did you notice if you changed positions on the bike, if that changed your power output? When you're out of the saddle, I'll be honest with you, you probably saw me jump up. It's allowing me to deliver the power more through body weight also. Higher the power number, 
more power to weight ratio, right? <laughs> Look that up. Yes. All right. You got your composure back? Interval number two is coming. Same or better? Can you do it? Same or better? What I do, because they're so short, even though I'm using a bike that has an interval function, so I just kind of see where my number is, and right away I'm gonna kind of learn. I won't tell you what my numbers were, that's personal. <laughs> but I know where I'm at. I saw it. So did you, if you have a power meter. If you don't have one, no worries. Heavy load, rate of perceived exertion is all out. Try to maintain an RPM throughout if you can. All right, number two's coming up. Let's get ready. Let's start to load. Remember, resistance and RPM gives you big power. Put your finger on the interval button function. If you're ready, and I say go, you guys are gonna hit it. Three, two, one, let's go. Watch your numbers. 10 seconds in. Come on, athlete. Pour on the power. 10 to go. Five, three, two, one. Shut it down, hit that interval. Oh. Ooh. Three minutes recovery. Give me a second. <laughs> Personally, I didn't do as good as my first. It's okay. It's close. Within a few watts, a little less, it's all right. Consistency. Relax. Get your composure back. Focus on your breathing right now. Let's drop that heart rate. Easy, extremely easy. So where are you struggling in each of the segments, each of the 10 second segments of that 30? For me, it's the last 10. I have no problem accelerating. <laughs> it's maintaining. If you're being a little defensive in the start of the effort, that'll get you. I want you to go on offense, but don't drive too hard. Get it going, then just start to lay into it. All right, drive for the basket and dunk that ball, all right? Next one, number three of four. You got two left, two left. Make them count. Yes, yes, get some water. How's the legs, flushing out? <laughs> no, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, these are no joke, are they? So good, though. Close your eyes. Absorb the energy of the music right now. Let it pump you up, get ready. <laughs> I want you to kick this one right in the rear end, all right? Get after it, it's a good time to maybe be a little aggressive, that's all right. <laughs> all right, that three minutes is ending here. Let's start to load. Remember your interval button? If you don't have it, watch your number. If you don't have power, greater perceived exertion, keep that cadence high. Going in three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, get through the first 10 seconds.
Watch your numbers. 10 down. Halfway. Ugh. 10 to go. Five. Two. One. Shut it down. Interval button. Ooh. Look at me. Get your head up. Recover. <laughs> Think and will your heart rate, will it to come down. Focus on it. Mind, body. One more. I know you got it in you. How'd you do on that last one? How's the numbers? Now I encourage you to practice this. 30 seconds efforts. As you're finding out right now, going for the biggest sustainable power over 30 seconds at a max effort is no joke. Take practice to get good at this. I know when I was racing professionally, I had to practice sprinting. Practice makes perfect. Practice is gonna better you. Keep coming back to this when you're fresh, fully ready for it. One more athlete. It's like doing the last set, last rep, last sprint, finish line. Yeah. Listen to words. Show you how we do it right here, right? <laughs> All right, let's get a little resistance on, a little bit. I want you to jam in this last one, all right? After this, we're done. Full recovery. This is the one I want you to pay very, very close attention to. We've already done a few, they're behind us. How's your body gonna respond? How's your mind gonna respond? How's your attitude gonna respond? All right, get a drink. Last one. Slow down. Thirty seconds of your life. Make it extreme. On me, start loading. Start loading. Heavy. I'm gonna start this one up. Three, two, one. Hit that button, let's go. Come on, let me show you how we do it right here, come on. Ten down. Come on, athlete. Halfway. Uh, 10 seconds. Give me five. Three, two, one. Shut it down, interval. Uh, absorb it. Comes my heart rate. Ooh. Keep your legs moving. Don't stop. Quiet that heart rate. Ooh, how quick you're recovering. Now you can look at your heart rate. Say, how's my body responding? How's that response to the effort? How fit are you? How quick can you drop that heart rate? Pay attention to that always. 
That's why we recommend a heart rate monitor so much. Nice job, athlete. Yeah, wow. Amazing. Let's sit up nice and tall. Peak power efforts, they are so good to learn. If you can start to learn what your power output can be, can actually be all out for 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, five minutes, and so on, start to learn a lot about yourself. Get a ton out of that. So right now, just start focusing more on dropping your heart rate. Let's get a drink. Come down to the handlebars for just a second if you were sitting upright. Close your eyes. If you haven't done so already, I bet you have after that last effort. <laughs> Let's back that resistance down to light. Hardly anything or nothing at all. That's fine. Let's let that flywheel just pull our legs through the circles to help massage, help you recover, flush the muscles. And let's go ahead and sit straight up. We'll do a little upper body stretching. I'm gonna again ask you to do lower body stretching off the bike after we're done. This is only a 30 minute ride, so I'll do some upper body, but you finish up off the bike, lower, lower body stretching. Right arm, cross the body. Wanna use as much time as possible to just keep your legs moving through the 30 minutes. Switch sides. And let's take those hands behind the back, open that chest up, sit up nice and tall. Amazing job. You are an athlete if you try your best every time. Here at Spinning, we always say find the champion within. It's such a powerful thing to find the best within you to come out, and that's what we did here with the Peak Power stuff. So keep practicing, take those hands out in front of you. Practice makes perfect, right? And let's just go ahead and roll those shoulders back. And forward. All right, let's come down to the handlebars, either hand position two or two and a half. And I'd like you to just slow your legs down just a little bit. Sometimes you wanna Ah, the session's over, I'm cooling down, I wanna jump off. No, it's important to keep the legs moving. Let the heart rate come down easy. Try to finish off your water bottle. And again, I wanna stress the importance of measurement tools. Rate of perceived exertion's great, but you gotta be able to put that to something sometimes. So a heart rate monitor is a very, very key and a power meter. Measure your output. It's direct. It's letting you know exactly at the moment what you're doing. You can gauge a lot off of just that. It's such a powerful tool to help you become a better version of yourself. And at spinning, we are all about the feeling. We are. But if you can see what you're doing also, you're gonna get a lot out of that. You'll start to learn when you're tired, when you're fresh, when you can go harder, when you're not doing well, when you can really go for a PR, a personal record. Awesome job today. Let's slow those legs down just a little bit more. Close your eyes. Take some deep breaths. Get into the base of your lungs as you inhale. Exhale all the way out. All right, let's go ahead and sit back up right here. Put your hand on your chest. I want you to always promise yourself that when you're doing this, you're gonna be your best. You're gonna leave all the stresses outside where you are. Allow yourself to open up to you. My name is Josh Taylor. Thank you for joining me in this Peak Power series. Keep practicing, stay consistent, and I'll see you next time. Do some off the bike stretching, get some more water, have a fantastic rest of your day, evening. Take care.